climate change is interrelated with all of the different discussions, which are now no longer up there. Uh, but first of all, they obviously relate to the refugee problem. I think there's two ways that we can talk about the refugee problem. One is related to drought conditions and how food security will increasingly become a problem in especially sub-Saharan Africa and the developing world. They'll no longer have access to food. They'll no longer be able to produce food. And that creates global refugee flows. Another is in the Pacific Islands. As people become displaced and their islands go underwater, they'll have to move. So that relates to the global refugee crisis. It relates to global health, especially because diseases are especially prominent in these areas in refugee camps. Um, and I'm going to kind of ignore the rest. But private sector was the one I wanted to touch on as well, because the solutions, and we're trying to think of how can we better address it, it's such a big problem. I, we mentioned that there is a political consensus problem. We don't think the debate is resolved. It's not over yet, especially from this administration. Um, and sort of the conversation needs to be pushed towards. It's a big problem, and we need to be able to resolve it these days. But the solutions to climate change, they have to come from many different actors. We said that it's not just the United States government that's important, it's local actors and local systems that are really important to be helped to resolve the climate change problem, but also for the private sector, and the private sector gets involved. They're the ones who have to get their global supply chains and have sustainability. I was telling the group, I listened to a talk by the head of Mars's Global Sustainability Project, and the carbon footprint of Mars Inc., just like the food company, is as big as several like small countries. And so if these companies do not work on their carbon footprint, we'll not be able to solve the global climate problem. So those are sort of the things we talked about. And then the impacts. Uh, one thing that we imp talked about was the national security implications. And then we talk about it a lot. But someone mentioned on the panel beforehand that the Syrian refugee crisis and also the Syrian conflict originally was caused by things like droughts occurring in the countryside, people being concentrated in urban areas. And the DOD and our military constantly think about this. The DOD is putting out white papers about what are resource wars, what are those sort of things that could happen as a result of climate change. So climate change is sort of like a systemic exacerbator of all other things. Um, and I think it's something that we have to pay attention to. And unfortunately, I think our group was a little pessimistic about how much we would be able to do to resolve it. And one thing we talked about was resilience. I sort of think resilience is the buzzword that gets thrown out a lot these days. But you need to have resilient communities so they can respond to shocks. They can respond to a food security shock. You can respond to a climate change shock. You can respond to a drought. You can be respond to like a health pandemic. Resilience is a really big thing. And so there's a lot of problems. And I don't really think I could summarize all of it. But uh, that was most of it.